Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, I am getting emotional just thinking about this first birthday party prep. Oh my gosh. I don't know where the last year has gone. Um, it's just wild how fast time flies, how grateful we are to have Claire Bear. And this video is going to be a first birthday party prep. And then at the end of the video, I will, of course, share some fun clips from Claire's first birthday party. So today is Tuesday the 10th. Claire turns one on Sunday, but on the 14th, this Saturday, we're having her first birthday party here at our house. And we're going to have a Harry Potter themed first birthday party. So if you know me in real life, I am obsessed with Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. Oh my God. Like a gloomy day at home and you just sit at home and veg out and watch Harry Potter. I can't explain like the feeling that gives me, it gives me so much joy and comfort. I don't know, I love Harry Potter. Nick loves it as well. So we originally were gonna do like a farm theme for Claire's first birthday, but we decided to do Harry Potter, the chosen one, because Harry Potter is the chosen one and Claire is gonna be one, the chosen one, get it? So that is the theme of Claire's first birthday party. We have so many fun decorations. I went a little crazy because, listen, Linda, I waited so long to become a mom. And after struggling with infertility, I just appreciate things so much more. And I, of course, am gonna go all out for my daughter's first birthday party, okay? I am so grateful to even experience this. So before I get into sharing a whole bunch of the decor and goodies that I got for her birthday party, I just wanted to take a second and talk about FabFitFun. I love getting my FabFitFun boxes in the mail. You get four of them a year, one for each season. They are customizable. I truly love getting these boxes. So I have a little bit of self tanner on today. I decided to take care of myself this week. I was like, you need to stop looking so crazy, okay? Um, I work from home, I'm a new mom, and I just sometimes look a little uh, raggedy, you know? So this week I was like, you're putting on self tanner. So I did that. And then in my prior FabFitFun boxes, I have gotten so many makeup gems. And if you're somebody like me who, you know, doesn't go to Ulta and like test out products, I am not that kind of girl. I've never been that kind of girl. I need somebody to like tell me what's good and then I'll try it or something like that. But I'm not like a makeup experimenter kind of gal. But my FabFitFun boxes have made me experiment with makeup so much more. I'm able to put high-end products into my boxes to try out instead of spending a lot of money on the product and not sure if I'm gonna like it. So um, I have so many FabFitFun products on me right now. I'm not even being funny. I genuinely have been loving the stuff that I've gotten in my boxes. So. Right now, I have my eyebrows filled in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. How fancy is that, y'all? You know, I've always heard of people using this stuff, but I've never bought it for myself. Um, but I filled in my eyebrows with Anastasia by Beverly Hills. Um, I have this Living Proof Dry Shampoo in my hair. Fancy. Um, some hair strengthener to you know, strengthen my, my hair, really fancy. Um, I'm wearing this like, uh, what's her name? I can't remember her name, but she's famous. And I'm using a highlighter that's like sponsored by her or something. 
Y'all, I don't know. I'm also using some random lip gloss that came in my box. I'm just so happy with the products that they sent me. And now that I've tested them out, I'm like, these are really good. And I think that I'll buy them in the future. So highly recommend. I'll insert a clip of the box that they sent me for fall. Like I said, totally customizable. I got to pick all of these goodies myself. They have like cozy fall blankets. Um, this incredibly beautiful casserole dish. Are we kidding? I love this so much. So yes, I will leave my link in the description box down below. It will give you either a free gift or a discount on your first box. So worth it to test out some new products, some things that you, you know, may not have considered buying yourself. Love, 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 love working with FabFitFun. So yeah, if you like any of my makeup or uh, my hair today, courtesy of FabFitFun. <laughs> what a shameless plug. Okay, anyway, let's get into the real reason why you're here. We have so many fun goodies to share for Claire's birthday. <sighs> If you love Harry Potter, you're going to love this video. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> I hope if you're watching this, you do love Harry Potter because if you don't, like, you won't really understand any of this stuff. But we got this incredible, have you seen this wizard picture? What a good photo for a first birthday party. Am I right? No. <laughs> Now that I'm holding this up, I'm like, this is not very one-year-old friendly, but it's fine. It's all for the cause. It's all for the theme. And Claire is the chosen one. She was the chosen one. Okay, up next. And a lot of this I can link for you guys. We got so much of this stuff on Amazon. We got this adorable sign, the Leaky Cauldron. This is gonna go on our coffee bar with some butter beer. So we've got that sign, Wizards Only Beyond This Point. And I love this quote from Albus Dumbledore. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. This is such a good life quote, seriously, but love this. And the good part about most of this, we love Harry Potter. So like when we eventually have a basement at our dream house, whenever that comes in life or whatever stage of life, I'm saving all this. And this is going to be like a little Harry Potter corner in my basement. The basement will eventually be Nick's man cave, wherever we end up. So he'll probably love that as well. If you watched my last DIY video with all of my fall and spooky treasures, I made this broom out of a plunger from the Dollar Tree. And I thought this is an incredible broom, like a Nimbus 2000 from Harry Potter. So I'm putting this out for her party. I also should mention that um, the plan for all of this decor, I'm going to put all of our dining room chairs out in the garage and I'm going to turn my dining room table the opposite way and put it like back against the wall where our fireplace is and set up a whole table of decor just as like a visual piece because food will be set up on a different table and then chairs and tables will be set up outside so nobody's really like gonna need to sit in here and eat at the dining room table or anything so the table is going to be full of like a harry potter display which i will of course be sharing with you in another clip when we eventually like revamp the table so we've got a nimbus 2000 if you know you know I picked up these adorable scalloped plastic containers at the Dollar Tree. I love anything scalloped for $1.25. And these are like, can you hear that? Really 
nice plastic. I was shocked. I thought we could put little, some little trinkets in here, some little candies or something. I don't know. Got this Welcome to Hogwarts banner at Party City. We got this t-shirt for Claire for her party, the chosen one. And then I am making her a um, Gryffindor colored tutu. So I bought tool, this um, like band to go around her waist. And these are the two These are the two colors of tulle that I got to make her little tutu skirt. And then I just got her some little bloomers from Amazon to put under her tutu. So got those. Aunt Dominique got this little Dobby for Claire. Are you kidding me? This is so cute. She found this at Marshall's, I think. TJ Maxx. So, um... A little Harry Potter Dobby. This is definitely gonna go on the table. So cute. Nick's Uncle Kenny and Aunt Barb got this Lego Hermione from, um, yeah, this is from Lego Harry Potter Wizarding World. They picked this up for Claire and it is the cutest thing. So Hermione will go out on the table as well. Got Claire a number one balloon and her birthday cake candle. She's just gonna have a small little white cake to devour on her own. I bought her a little wand to take pictures with. You guys have already seen this if you watch my channel. This was in one of my videos, but I got this from a girl who I buy home decor from, and I think this is a menorah. I don't know, but I thought that it looked really cool when you separated these. It kind of reminded me of the lights in their like grand hall in Harry Potter. So I bought flickering flameless candles to go in here for the table display. So this beautiful brass candelabra, menorah, whatever you want to call it. You'll see this set up when we eventually do her table, but I got this um, little thing with cauldrons. So it has three different cauldrons and we're gonna fill this with some candy and put that out on the table. I found this in the Target dollar spot and thought this would be so cute as the Goblet of Fire. So got this for somewhere on the table. Good thing our dining room table is large because this is a lot of decor. I'm thinking I might also use my Cricut and print out to the Goblet of Fire onto this. So we'll see. We'll see how much time I end up having these next couple of evenings. I am taking off Friday before the party. I'm taking a bonus day at work. So we'll try to get as much done as we can. I bought a little Hedwig owl. He's still wrapped up. So a woman that buys loads of my home decor, I actually grew up with her son. We went through grade school and high school together and then she ended up finding me on Facebook Marketplace and buys so much of my home decor when I resell it. And she bought a birdcage from me years ago, a Hobby Lobby birdcage that I bought and I sold it because I didn't need it. And I thought about it and I'm like, man, I wonder if she would let me borrow it. We've like become friends. We're now friends on Facebook um, because we we know each other. I know her son, like I said, and uh, she follows me and saw like Claire and she follows me and we like each other's stuff and we talk back and forth. She still buys stuff from me to this day. And I reached out to her and she was, she hosts parties and she's like, I have so much Harry Potter stuff. So I'm actually going there tonight to pick up a bunch of stuff from her and the bird cage and Hedwig is gonna go in that. So I'm very excited about that. So I'll share with you a couple of the things, couple of the things that I get from her, but we've got our little owl. 
I got this gigantic chosen one banner. I don't feel like unfolding it right now, but it says the chosen one has a bunch of Harry Potter stuff on it. It's actually gonna go on this wall here. So you will see that on Saturday when we set up for Claire's party. I got two boxes of these incredible floating candles. They hang from the ceiling, just like in the like grand hall in Harry Potter. You see these like hanging floating candles. I'm super excited about this. They're battery operated, remote controlled. This is gonna be so cute. So I'm very excited about that. I got little uh, cupcake picks for the cupcakes that I'm making for her party. I'm just making cupcakes for everyone and then she's gonna have her own little personal cake. So this is for the cupcakes. And then the last couple of things, y'all. Oh, I did buy this red marker. I've had everything in a tote. <laughs> um, I got this red marker because in the Chamber of Secrets, somebody writes in blood, the Chamber of Secrets has been opened, enemies of the air beware. And you know, I like Harry Potter. <laughs> so I'm writing this on the bathroom mirror so that when people go to the bathroom, they'll like see it on the mirror. That is the cutest idea, okay? Um, and then at Home Goods and Marshalls, Ray Dunn, which I used to collect and obsess over, has a Harry Potter line. Are you kidding me? So I bought these like Harry Potter trinkets and I'm definitely going to keep them and use them after this party. I would have bought these even if I wasn't having the party, but they are the four houses in measuring cups. Excuse me, what? Um, I found this little Hogwarts uh, candy tray with a with the sorting hat on him. I'm dead. Okay, moving on. We got this Harry Potter casserole dish. It's too good. It's all too good. Another thing I got, I'm going to take you out in the garage. We found a vintage wooden high chair for her party. I didn't want to put out like her plastic high chair for pictures and stuff, but I also didn't want to be spending like $40 on a wooden high chair. Y'all, I scored one at the Goodwill for $8.99. I'll share that with you. Um, and then tomorrow is Wednesday. Aunt Dom and Uncle Nate are going to watch Claire. Nick and I are gonna go out and get all of this last minute stuff for her party. We need some balloons. We need all of the food, um, drinks, lots of stuff to be grabbed, you know, cause we gotta have some snacks for the party. So yeah, a lot of stuff we have to get tomorrow, but all of the decor and stuff, is ready. I'm so excited to decorate the table for her party. Um, and I also need to make her little tutu, so I'll be sharing that with you. But let me take you outside really quick and show you the high chair that we found at the Goodwill. Oh yes, I also wanted to share, I'm using this for her party. I think I might put this on the front porch with a cute saying on it or something. Um, we will see. And then this is the incredible high chair that I got. Um, don't mind all the stuff in the garage. These were Bryce's beds. Oh, it makes me want to cry just even touching them. Oh my God. But we just cannot um, seem to get rid of these. Woo! Okay. Uh, it's going to be an emotional week because I can't believe my baby's turning one. It's just been, oh my God. Okay. So this is the high chair that I scored at the Goodwill. Here's the price tag still on it, $8.99, y'all. I was so excited to find this. Has the most adorable, like, turned legs. I thought about, like, refinishing this and all of that. Ain't nobody got time for that. This is, it's good enough. Um, it does have this, like, discoloration. It's good enough. It's, it's beautiful. Um, I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. This isn't about like how beautiful a high chair looks. This is for my daughter. Not that she's going to remember this, but it's fine. I will remember all of these moments. I did pull some stuff from our pantry, things that we're going to use for her party that were, were like leftovers or just, you know, I, I got like 
how much silverware we have. I put all of that together, just some random stuff. Uh, we did find these at Target, little Harry Potter Hershey's, uh, Hershey's chocolates in the Halloween section, so that was awesome. But yeah, we have still a lot to grab for the party, but that will come tomorrow. All right, we just got home from Aldi, Walmart, and Hobby Lobby. Grabbed a couple more things for the party that were necessary. Um, we got more cutlery, plates, pasta, pasta sauce. Um, Aldi is the best way to go. Um, lots of good deals, some snacks, got some candies. <laughs> Nick, look at Phil. <laughs> What are you doing? Okay, you're going after Claire's bow. We got some balloons, and Nick is testing out butter beer. Um, he's trying to perfect the recipe. What are you gonna do? Like a small batch and then multiply? Yeah, small batch bourbon. Small batch. <laughs> this is non-alcoholic. Butter beer is like a Harry Potter thing. Um, if you've ever been to, beer. if you've ever been to Universal, butterbeer is delicious. So he's going to test that out. If we perfect the recipe, we'll leave it down below. But, um, yeah, it's Wednesday night. I'm feeling good. I feel like we're on the right track. I got the house pretty much set up how it's going to be for the party. It looks a mess right now, but it'll all come together. Um... And I did start working on Claire's tutu. Um, the, the vision isn't looking so, so good right now. But basically, I'm just tying the tool through these little holes. And then I'm going to um, attach the ends so that it's like a skirt. And you'll see how it comes together. Literally just cut a strip of tool and put it through two separate holes and tied them together. It's as simple as that. And we're just going to continue until it's a nice full tutu. This is Nick's mock butter beer. 
got butter extract and caramel flavor and then go birds <laughs> why did you just do that um and then cream soda and we're gonna be putting it in um this giant thing for people to dispense with like one of my vintage crates so that people can put their little drink under this is gonna be all like set up cute for the party i took out our nespresso machine just to make more room over here because it feels so cluttered but um yeah i'm gonna clean this out this was actually from my bridal shower or my baby shower i forget but my best friend caitlin gave it to me after because she had no use and we have used it multiple times so i think it's from hobby lobby or amazon i'll have to find out but uh yeah i think that's gonna be it for tonight i'm gonna work on claire's tutu i'll show you a clip of that and then i think i'll check in maybe friday because i am taking off friday let me show you my face <laughs> so i'm taking off friday um to prep for the party and nick is taking a half day his brothers are going to come over and help as well work outside we're going to power wash nick has to mow the lawn we got to set up table so i'll insert some clips of that too on friday and then most likely for claire's party i'm not going to be taking loads of clips to share just like how the table is set up um some clips of her and her tutu and her outfit. But other than that, we're gonna be in the moment and enjoy the party. So um, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I'll check in with you on Friday. Hey guys, so of course I did a terrible job at following up with you on Friday. It is now, it is now 10 days after Claire's birthday and I finally got all of the footage together and Next is just some clips. I um, made her cupcakes. I'm trying to think of all of the things that I did leading up to her party. Um, we bought balloons and blew up balloons, set up her birthday table. Um, we had all of the tables set up in the backyard for everyone to sit and hang out. Um, yeah, we did the cupcakes. We had butter beer. We hung floating candles inside. Um, what else did we do? I finished Claire's tutu. She only really wore that for pictures and then she was over it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was such a beautiful day. Quite literally, like the weather was absolutely beautiful and Claire was happy and it was such a beautiful day. I'm so happy to have these memories now in a video on my channel and if you are looking for a harry potter themed party i have loads of links down below of all the things that we used got a lot of it on amazon and her theme was the chosen one if you are a harry potter fan so um enjoy the next couple of clips got some pictures and some clips of how we had the house styled. And I'm just so happy to have you guys here and share Claire's first birthday with us. So grateful for all of you and hope you enjoy the next couple of clips.